With progress comes change, and when change comes, it comes in different ways. Oftentimes, it comes with new construction projects that invite development. Africa Project's market is booming with opportunities, but finding and accessing reliable and validated data has been a problem for a long time. Africa is a land of possibilities, and the best time to invest in Africa is right now. Its population is expected to grow by 25% over the next 10 years. It is expected to increase from 1.340 billion in 2020 to 1.617 billion by 2030. As a result, there will be a greater demand for infrastructure, as well as a large market with numerous opportunities. As per a BuyQ's unique business intelligence platform, there are business opportunities and projects worth over $2 trillion in Africa. Many governments have prioritized infrastructure development in order to meet the needs and requirements of a growing population, making construction the largest industry in Africa. In Africa, there are over 570 construction projects worth $450 billion. Energy has projects worth over $370 billion, followed by transport projects, which include roads, airports, and railways, worth $280 billion. The focus will be on diversifying economies, PPP projects, and developing new infrastructure to meet the needs of a fast-growing population. In today's video, we bring to you 10 already completed projects in Africa that surprised the world. Welcome to ThinkRich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Number 10. Dangote Cement Plants Dangote Cement is a subsidiary of Dangote Industries, which was founded in 1981 by Aleko Dangote as a trading company, focusing on the importation of bag cement and other commodities such as rice, sugar, flour, and salt. The group gradually began importing bulk cement into the Apapa and Port Harcourt terminals. Dangote Cement PLC is the leading cement company in sub-Saharan Africa, with a production capacity of 48.6 million tons per year spread across 10 countries. These operations combine to make us the largest cement producer in sub-Saharan Africa. The team reached a significant milestone in December 2019, when it installed the world's largest crude distillation column. This Dangote Group's project near Lagos, Nigeria will deliver one of the world's largest oil refineries. Number 9. Morocco's Solar Plant The Wazazate Solar Power Station, also known as Nor Power, is a solar power complex in Morocco's Dra Taflalit region, 10 kilometers from Wazazate town, in the Gesat Rural Council area. It is the world's largest concentrated solar power plant with a capacity of 510 megawatts. When completed, the project is expected to generate 582 megawatts at peak using an additional 72 megawatts photovoltaic system. It is being constructed in three stages and four parts. The plant will be able to store solar energy in the form of heated molten salt, allowing it to produce electricity throughout the night. Number 8. Pokuase Interchange Ghana The Pokuase Interchange is a four-level stack interchange situated at Pokuase Junction in Accra, Ghana. It is the largest interchange in West Africa upon its completion. The interchange was originally a three-tier, but was modified on the advice of the constructor by the Akufo Addo administration to a four-tier thereby making it the largest in West Africa. 
Construction began in 2018 and was commissioned for use by the 9th July 2021 by President Nana Akafo Addo. Number 7. Ethiopia Light Rail System Construction on the light railway started in December 2011 after securing funds from China's Export-Import Bank, Exin Bank. The total cost of the railway was $475 million, with Exim Bank covering 85% of the cost through a substantial concessional loan. The China Railway Engineering Corporation took three years to complete the two-line, 34.4-kilometer system. Trial operations began in February 2015, with the lines going live on September 20th and November 9th, respectively. In the capital city of Addis Ababa, the Ethiopian light rail system officially began public service with over 40 trains. It is the first tramway of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. Number 6. Lagos Ibadan Railway Project the Lagos Ibadan Line is a double track standard gauge rail that is the first of its kind in West Africa. It connects Lagos, Nigeria's economic hub and most populous city, to Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State, via 10 stations. The China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, CSEC, built the 150 km per hour line, which also has a 7 km branch, with assistance from the 11th and 12th bureaus of China Railway, CR the Bridge Bureau, the Electrification Bureau, and the 4th Railway Institute. Number 5. Julius Nyerer New Airport Terminal Dar es Salaam Julius Nyerer International Airport, Jainaya, in Tanzania, is not one of Africa's largest airports, but it is one of the most modern aviation infrastructures in East Africa, thanks to the opening of Terminal 3 in August 2019 and Air Tanzania's fleet expansion with Airbus A22300 and Boeing 787-8s. It is located 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles, southwest of the city center. The new terminal, which cost around 314 million US dollars, will increase the airport's annual passenger capacity to 8 million. Number 4. Egypt's New Suez Canal The Suez Canal Corridor Area Project is an Egyptian mega-project that was launched on August 5, 2014 by Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and was to be completed in 2015. The goal of the project was to increase the Suez Canal region's role in international trade while also developing the three canal cities of Suez, Ismailia, and Port Said. The new Suez Canal, a 72-kilometer section that speeds up traffic along the key international shipping route, was completed in just one year. Number 3. Eco-Atlantic, Great Wall of Lagos Eco-Atlantic, Lagos Smart City is located adjacent to the Lagos metropolitan areas, Victoria Island District and Lekki Phase 1. It is built on 10 million square meters of land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean. The goal of this project was to create a city that would serve as Africa's new economic capital. Eco-Atlantic City has been able to reclaim almost 70% of that land. To prevent further coastal erosion, the Eco-Atlantic City is now protected by an 8.5 kilometer long and 12.5 meters wide sea wall dubbed the Great Wall of Lagos. The Great Wall has been designed to withstand the worst storms in 1,000 years and a sustainable solution to the consistent loss of land. The wall currently protects over 6 million square meters of Eco-Atlantic and Victoria Island. Number 2. Guinea's Hydropower Dam The dam's construction began in 2015, and the plant is expected to start producing electricity later this year. The project is a public-private partnership between the Government of West Africa and the China International Water and Electric Corporation, a subsidiary of the state-owned China Three Gorges Corporation that was awarded the construction contract. Meanwhile, the state-owned Export-Import Bank of China 
which has made loans totaling more than 150 billion US dollars to support Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative, is financing the plant with a whopping 1.2 billion US dollars loaned to the Guinean government. Number 1. Standard Gauge Railway Kenya Kenya is constructing a railway line that connects the coastal port of Mombasa and the interior of the country. It is expected to end at Malaba, a town on the Ugandan border, and connect to other railways being built in East Africa. Locals refer to it as the Standard Gauge Railway (SGR). The railway's construction is divided into three phases. The first two phases, which have now been completed, cover 610 kilometers. The third phase is still being built. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification.